and get us in time on time. Good steady state engine chamber pressure on the second stage. Looking at second stage engine steering. It's uh, they're recovering from the initial transients. Looking good. Five minutes, 30 seconds in the flight. About one minute into this second stage burn. Second stage burn uh, is to last about uh, five minutes and 20 seconds or so, so we have about four minutes to go. Chamber pressure is very steady in the second stage. Pitch and yaw control in the second stage, very good. Passing six minutes, six seconds into the flight. Altitude now 89.8 .8 nautical miles. Downrange distance 641 nautical miles. Velocity 13,834 miles per hour. at our uh, comparison of our expected times and our uh, predicted times and our actual times of uh, major mission events are all uh, within a second of the expected times. Passing uh, six minutes, 47 seconds into the flight. Altitude now 95.4 nautical miles, downrange distance 778 nautical miles, velocity 14,271 miles per hour. Passing seven minutes. Chamber pressure is exactly where we want it to be in the second stage. Very good chamber pressure, holding rock solid. We're now on data from Antigua Island. Engine your control in the second stage, continuing to look good as we're approaching uh, 7 minutes 30 seconds. Seven minutes, 40 seconds into the flight, altitude now 99.9 .9 nautical miles, downrange distance 955 nautical miles, velocity 14,899 miles per hour. Now passing eight minutes into the flight, about two minutes until SECO. That'll be the completion of the first burn of the evening of the second stage. Passing 8 minutes, 30 seconds into the flight, altitude 102.2 nautical miles, downrange distance 1131 nautical miles, velocity now at 15,567 miles per hour. Looking at our second stage chamber pressure again, continuing to look very, very solid, very little uh, steering in pitch in the yaw. Now passing nine minutes, nine minutes and altitude now 103 nautical miles, downrange distance 1240 nautical miles and velocity 15,994 miles per hour. Less than one minute remains until uh, SECO 1. Continuing to look good. Altitude now 103.5 nautical miles, downrange distance 1,365 nautical miles, velocity 16,518 miles per hour. Chamber pressure beginning to drop now in the second stage, as we're about uh, 15 seconds or so from SECO. Uh, 
10 seconds. Any by for Seco? And we have Seco. All the system pressure has decreased. And we've had the shutdown of the command receiver decoders. Expected. That we expect to be uh, losing signal from Antigua very shortly as the vehicle will be going over the horizon. At 11 minutes, 37 seconds into the flight, altitude 104.8 nautical miles, downrange distance 1,857 nautical miles, velocity 16,947 miles per hour. This is Delta Flight Commentary at 12 minutes, 5 seconds into the flight that we've uh, just uh, lost acquisition of signal from the Antigua ground station as expected. Uh, we expect to reacquire the vehicle from Dongera, Australia tracking station in about uh, 39 and a half minutes. So at uh, 12 minutes, 24 seconds into the flight, this is Delta Flight Commentary. We'll uh, pick up uh, with the commentary a few minutes before we expect to reacquire the signal. Uh, signal is expected to be reacquired about uh, 51 minutes or so after uh, after launch, which would be about uh, 38 minutes or so from now. This is Delta II flight commentary. And this is Delta Launch Control in the Mission Directors Center, where the team is uh, quite satisfied with the data that they have been watching and listening to during the ascent of the Delta II. We're now in a fairly quiescent phase as the second stage with Kepler and the third stage attached simply cruises along about 100 nautical miles above the Earth. The total duration of the cruise phase is about 43 minutes. And as we heard our telemetry manager, Steve Agat, say our um, coverage from the Dungara tracking station will come at about 51 minutes into the flight. And uh, shortly after that, about four minutes, four and a half minutes later, the Tennant Creek tracking station in Australia will acquire. We'll get most of the Second stage restart data from Dongara, and then the third stage ignition and spacecraft separation will come through Tennant Creek. Tennant Creek is a station in the uh, Australian outback, absolutely out in the middle of nowhere, but absolutely critically located for the events that we need to see on the Delta third stage and for spacecraft separation tonight. In just a moment, we'll be going into our launch replays of our liftoff of the Delta II with Kepler. At 14 minutes, 45 seconds into the flight of Kepler on the Delta II, this is Delta Launch Control. <laughs> 